What's up team, Mikey Bell here with Outdoor Adventure Training. You guessed it, we're back with another follow along ski specific workout. This is the Shredder Squats Workout. A bit of a tongue twister, but as the name implies, we're doing a lot of squatting in different planes of motion. You can definitely expect some plyometrics as well as some balance and overall a leg burner of a workout. The Shredder Squats workout is pulled directly from our Powder Prep program, which is a 90 day program designed for skiers and snowboarders to improve muscular endurance through the legs, improve cardiovascular performance, all before an epic winter ahead. If you're interested in checking out more about the Powder Prep program, head over to our website at outdooradventuretraining.com, use the promo code El Nino23, get your first week free, try it out. We got a bunch of people on there now, absolutely loving it and getting shredded before a lot of shredding this season. So for this workout, you can totally do it with just body weight if that's all you have. However, we're graduating into the blues, the intermediate phase of the powder prep program, which means our adaptation is more so strength endurance, which is more easily attainable with some external resistance in the form of weight. So. I'll have a variety of tools to pull from. So whatever you have, either dumbbells, kettlebells, maybe it's a medicine ball or a plate, you can hold a sack of potatoes. It really doesn't matter. Load up a backpack with some water. The idea is just to give you a little external resistance to mimic what you might experience on the slopes. Additionally, in the latter half of this workout, you are going to need some sort of a box or a step as we'll be performing step ups. You can also use a coffee table or a bench, a chair. If you don't have any of those things, we'll give you another exercise to replace it. Don't let that be a barrier to starting this workout and let's get right into it. So open the Outdoor Adventure Training app. We're graduating to the blue phase. We'll click on that Shredder Squats workout and we're gonna get right into it. Of course, starting off with our usual warm up routine, getting into some isometric movements before we get into the actual circuit. So we're starting off with a squat limitations. stretch, dynamic movement. So you're just gonna get deep into a squat position and we're just gonna do internal and external rotation of the hip essentially. So just sitting in this deep squat, I'm gonna work with just one knee first and I've done this before on this channel, driving this knee internally, get a really good stretch through the hip and then externally on that same side. And I just like to alternate sides. So working that knee in, I'm not so worried about my foot coming off the ground, just trying to get the hip joints lubricated. This is also warming up the ankles and the knees, all of which <laughs> are obviously very important joints for not just skiing, but life in general, and will definitely be utilized in this workout. If your mobility is limited and just holding this squat is difficult, there are ways to modify. You can hold against a wall and just work a little bit of mobility there. But if you have trouble sitting in this deep squat, that's something we should address. <laughs> the powder prep program is complete with a whole mo mobility training paradigm as well. Okay, hammy twists. So all I'm doing, reaching one hand down towards the ground, bend your knees as much as you need to for this one. Then I'm rotating up and open. And then we're placing the hands, switching to the other side. Really great way to open up those hamstrings, as well as loosen up the spine. You might get this a little bit in the outer hip and the glutes. Really love this stretch. I pretty much do this every day, regardless of what I'm training. <laughs> Walking okay. lunge and twist. Transitioning into a walking lunge and twist. So just striding forward, sinking into my lunge and then twisting. You can twist both directions. Make sure you have control in your lunge. So lunge, twist, twist, All right? The twist is really just secondary. If that's too much, you can certainly just do the walking lunge, but a very excellent movement to open up the hip flexors, get the quads working a little bit. Get one more here. Okay, we got butt kicks next. So it's not about traveling. I'm working out in a small space in the garage gym. It's not about how far we're going. 
It's about trying to get your heel up towards your butt. If you're having a hard time jumping, this workout will be difficult, but <laughs> you can modify as necessary. Should be a good workout today, team. Thanks for showing up once again. Getting the heart rate up a little bit. Walking quad. Okay, now we're essentially slowing down the butt kick into a walking quad stretch. Opposite hand, opposite foot, grabbing the top of the laces, trying to push my quad, or rather squeeze my glute to push my whole leg back. Get that deep stretch through the quads. You can, of course, bend your knee, grab it that way if you need to. If balance is an issue, do this against a wall. I'm not gonna lie, team. This one's gonna be a grind. My legs are sore. Just, I kind of knew going into this that it might be a little rough. We're switching to side lunges now, striding out to the side. Sinking it down. You know, there's those days you wake up, you're a little sore. Today was one of those days. I've been running a lot, a lot of vert lately. Just went up Mount McLaughlin the other day to see the solar eclipse, which was epic. But that was almost 4,000 feet of elevation gain. Followed up with another thousand yesterday. A lot of mileage this month so far. Side Feeling shuffle. the fatigue, we'll do what we can though. Side shuffles, I'm just staying low. Really just trying to warm up the legs, the core, right? So when I get to the end, I'm not leaning and falling over like that. Staying low, driving off that outside leg. You don't need a lot of space. If you have less space than this, even just going like this is good. <laughs> The goal is to stay low, keep the chest up, stay light on the feet. One of my favorite sayings is, my warm up is your workout. Sometimes I feel that way about these little workout routines, inchworm, warm up routines rather, walking it out to a plank. You can do a little downward dog if that feels good. Walking the feet in. One more going this direction. Plank for a second. Oh. Get a few more going back the other way. Bend your knees as much as you need to. If your hamstring flexibility is struggling that much, again, <laughs> we got mobility routines for that. It's actually on my calendar to film a 20 minute specific hamstring mobility routine. That will be up soon. Okay, good little warm up. We got a short rest, 40 seconds. Grab some water. The purpose of this is just kind of recalibrate, catch your breath, get some water if you need it. I'm gonna hold off on the water. <laughs> we got just one round of single leg isometric tracer. So I know I've done the single leg isometric load where we're just statically holding. We're essentially gonna be holding that same position while doing some movement with our other leg, which you could imagine how that's gonna to translate to your skiing and riding, being able to balance on one leg, leg and be dynamic tracers. at the same time is really the goal. This is somewhat still of a warm up, but we are getting more into strength Single endurance here. Okay, I'm gonna start on my right leg, bend that front knee, bend the ankle, bend the hip. And now, if this is too much, just hold it right here. Like if this is hard, that's fine. But ideally, we're gonna start moving this other leg around. So I'm gonna get it way out to the side, bring it back behind me. I can even bring it out to the side behind me. Back forward, you can come up a little high knee across, but the goal is that we're working a little bit of hip mobility. That's not our primary goal though. Our primary goal is we're really loading this leg, which I'm feeling already. <laughs> but we'll see how this workout plays out today. Make sure, especially when you're going out to the side, you're not compensating by leaning. That's where the core engagement comes in. Really keep the core tight, reaching out. 
forward, of course, you can switch directions. So tracer, because I'm trying to trace this big circle, ideally. Okay, switching to the other side, get a short rest, shake the leg out. <laughs> we're just going through this once, so once each leg, we're halfway done. And we're getting into our first circuit, three exercises, three times. We'll get there, team. I'm not nervous. You shouldn't be either. Okay, balancing on one leg, always working on keeping that knee just slightly externally rotated. Keep that glute super engaged. Woo! <laughs> My glutes are quite sore. Outside of ramping up the trail running lately, I've also been hitting the garage gym, of course. Not just these videos. You all only see the half of it. <laughs> the other half are personal workouts. I love these workouts and they're amazing, doing them live, but there's nothing quite like blasting music, getting all sweaty, a little screaming sometimes. <laughs> Just kidding. Focus, keep the core engaged. Just trying to get dynamic here, mixing it up. Keep that knee bent. Hang in there, team. We're almost done. You're done in three, two, one. Whoo! Okay. Shake it out. Very short rest. Just 20 seconds. We're getting right into goblet squats. I'm gonna increase the intensity every round and I might regret it, <laughs> but I'm just gonna start with a 20 pound medicine ball. Use a five, 10, 15 pound dumbbell plate, butternut squash, I don't really care. Here we go team, goblet squats, chest up nice and tall. My hands are just underneath the ball here. I'm sinking back in the hips, squeezing the glutes to come up. Notice as I'm sinking into my squat, my spine is staying in good alignment, meaning I'm not rounding through the back. That's gonna be a theme today for sure in every exercise. Really, it's a theme in every workout. Okay, staying externally rotated through the knees. So from the anterior view, pay attention to your knees. If there's one thing to focus on in your squats, it's the knees. And squeezing the glutes. Finishing that rep out. Clearing the hips. A lot of glute engagement. Nice work. Set that down because there's a good chance I'll be needing that in just a minute. Okay, next is side to side squat jumps, okay? I'll show you just regular squat jumps first, although I've done them on this channel too many times, to and then we'll progress. Jumps. Okay, so the normal squat jump would be load, pop, absorb, and that's also your load for the next jump. So ideally, we're working this, right? Just normal squat jumps. The side to side squat jump is particularly relevant for skiers and snowboarders. You'll see why. I'm loading and then jumping laterally, loading, Jumping laterally, okay? Ideally, we're getting some <laughs> momentum, speed, power. <sighs> Chest up. Really try to get those heels in contact with the floor. I don't care so much about how far you're going. If this foot crosses that foot, great. <sighs> Squat mechanics above everything else. Whoo! Nice work. Should hopefully get the heart rate up. <laughs> Next, very short rest. Breathe. Skier squats. I'll demo with no weight. And then about halfway through, I'm gonna switch to some weight. Feet are nice and wide. Sinking down to one side, and I'm staying on this plane, okay? Pushing that knee out and open. My feet aren't turned out. They're maybe slightly externally rotated, but just a really deep squat. Mobility is an issue in the adductors. Again, check out our mobility programming. I'm just switching side to side. 
add a little weight in that goblet position. Chest is up. Core is super engaged. I'll leave it up to you how long to hold at each range of motion. Obviously, the longer the hold, the more difficult. At least I hope that's obvious. Excellent technique to build up strength in the quads and the glutes. Okay, wasn't so bad. If we were done right now, at least. We got two more rounds of the same program team. Hang in there. If you're still on the channel watching this video, congrats, you're in the 1% of grit, that is. Just listen to this really awesome podcast by Andrew Huberman about willpower and tenacity and pushing through Goblet difficult squad. stuff for growth. I'll leave a link for that somewhere in one of these corners. I don't know how YouTube works. Goblet squats, Goblet squats. 25 pounds this time. I'm gonna step it up team, chest up, nice and tall. But that podcast was amazing. A lot of science involved. But if there's one thing to develop, it's that willpower and tenacity to challenge yourself, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Really keeping that chest up. You should be feeling this in the core. Extra credit. Woo! Nice work. I have a feeling, team, I'm gonna be talking less and less <laughs> as this workout side progresses. Side, side to side squat jumps. You know the drill. The key with these, team, soft landings, soft landings, soft landings. Side to side squat jumps. As if you're landing in the pow. Okay, load, pop. <sighs> And there's different adaptations here. You could really try to get up and over, up and over. You could try pushing the distance a little more. Just try to land both feet at the same time. Whoo! I'm not invincible. My legs are firing. Weighted skier squats are next. I'm gonna graduate again to the 25er. Weighted skier squats. <sighs> okay, staying low, team. That's the goal. Skier squats. Oh man, I wonder if anyone's wondering. Like, this is the blue phase. What? The, what are the black diamonds gonna be like? Well, quite frankly. Harder. Mostly longer. And it's really up to you to challenge yourself. Like you could do this all willy nilly and not get the adaptation we're going for. Stay low team, don't cheat yourself here. You're only cheating yourself. of these almost there oh, nice work 40 seconds recover breathe 
relax. Last round of this. What do y'all think? Oat logo on the wall, no. It's not superimposed. It's the real deal. Painted that thing on. Not super easy. <laughs> but I think it's freaking rad. It is my logo, so of course I'm gonna think that, that but love it, baby. Keeps me motivated. And you all are keeping me motivated too, okay. No messing around. 50 pounder for the goblets. Chest up, core engaged. Finish the rep, okay? This isn't finishing. That's finishing, big difference. Engage those glutes, baby. That's what we're here for. It's October 16th. Ski season is less than two months away at this point. I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be slaying pal from day one, baby. How about you? I hope the answer is hell yeah. Ooh. A few more team, come on. Nice work. Even if you're just using no weight or you kept the weight the same, all three sets, nothing wrong with that. Side to side squat Great turns. job. I might regret those in the side to side squat jumps. Here we go. Side Load and pop, baby. Last round of these. I don't love these. Love hate, I should say. These get too much, just decrease the amount you're jumping, slow it down. Again, biomechanics over everything. Oh, these are getting ugly. And you're getting more beautiful. Hang in there, 10 seconds, come on. Deep breaths. Skier squats. skier squats. I'm not using the 50. I'm not that much of a hero. <laughs> not gonna challenge the ego right now. My higher self says, dude, stick up the 25. That's plenty hard. Okay, here we go, stay low. Get a little wider though. I'm gonna work on really staying low. Keeping that knee out. Notice that knee is not caving in. Keep it out. This is definitely a lot of endurance. The next circuit is still endurance, but definitely more components of balance and just muscular activation, which I'm looking forward to. <laughs> and you might be as well. Stay low, come on. You're done. Mm. Three, two, one. Boy. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah, gang. Strong work. We're going to weighted single leg Romanian deadlift. If you have that dumbbell or kettlebell, I'm gonna be starting pretty light. About 20, 25 pounds. If you don't know how to do a single leg Romanian deadlift, check out this video that I made, 20 minutes <laughs> to explain one exercise because it's a very important exercise and there's so many nuances to it. Check out that video if you need any tips on technique. I'll talk a little bit about it here. Slight bend in the knee, bend in the ankle, hinging at the hip, letting it hang, 
Hammies are tight today, <laughs> and that's all right with me. Notice I'm staying straight through the crown of my head, through my back heel. A lot of balance involved. If balance is a struggle, don't use weight or use a wall for assistance. If hamstring mobility is a challenge, your range of motion might be right here. That's okay. Most important thing is to keep that integrity in the spine. Let it hang. Not letting my pelvis open up. Switch into the other leg, short rest. Shake it out. I'll do this one kind of head on so you can see what I'm talking about, the hips rotating. More often than not, people hang and they want to open up. Core is not engaged. You're not going to get the same activation in the posterior chain. Think about pointing this back toe towards the front heel. Only 66 degrees in the garage gym. I'm sweating. It's good. It means I'm hydrated. This morning I made a really awesome turmeric, ginger, lemon tea thing. Super good. This is the time of year where I really start bolstering that immune system any way I can. Usually through the form of teas juices, functional mushrooms, exercise is awesome for the immune system in the long term, not so much the immediate term. Okay, 20 seconds, we're gonna get our box next. We're doing marching step ups, okay? I'm gonna start with just 18 inches here. I'll face you for the first round. I'll use a 20 pound, 20 pounder. Okay, you can do whatever you want for resistance with this. Marching so marching step ups implies 90 seconds. I'm going up with one leg, switching to the other. So up, balance, down, both feet down, switching legs. Okay, this is a great exercise, not just for skiers, but for trail runners, hikers, mountaineers. Remember on that step up, I've talked about this a lot too. Don't let that knee buckle externally rotated and on the way down externally rotated all about glute engagement baby if you don't know i love it because <laughs> muscle imbalances are a real thing more often than not people have tight hip flexors quads and the glutes need some love Whew, hang in there all the way up, finish that rep. This one might get your heart rate going. This is kind of the pace I enjoy for these, for the style of exercise. Core is staying engaged. Nice work, team, nice work. Okay, put this off to the side for now. Nice rest, get some water. Single leg RDL. Use whatever weight is comfortable for you. Might not even need any weight. <laughs> Maybe you saw the Bozu in the corner earlier. This isn't a Bozu ball workout, I'm sorry. But if you want more of those, hit me up. Let me know, we'll post them. Love the Bozu ball. But there's also value to training, not on the Bozu ball. Focus on different adaptations. Okay, single leg RDL. Bend that knee, bend that ankle, hang. Hinging in the hip, right? I'm not leaning forward. I'm actually pushing the hips back. Amazing. 
Cool. Oh, to strengthen and lengthen the hamstrings and the glutes. So when you're finishing that rep, tuck that tailbone forward underneath. Really get that glute engagement, core engagement. Ooh, I'm dripping, team. Hopefully you are too. Definitely feeling this in the lower leg, all that balance. I've also oddly been playing a lot of tennis lately. I love tennis. I used to play a lot in high school and <laughs> just that time of year, I guess, to play some tennis. It's fun. Good exercise, enjoyable. One of the best pieces of advice I can give about fitness is the Wait best exercise program out. is the one that you'll stick to which is oftentimes the one that's the most enjoyable to you. You don't need to do this if you don't love it. That's probably why you're here, because you love Native skiing. You know that doing this is gonna improve your skiing. That's what it's all about. Eyes on the prize. The garage gym just keeps refining. Hopefully in the next video, we'll have our new custom rocker ski rack in the corner. Once that's live, I'll be blasting that. It's the best ski rack on the planet, I believe. So do a lot of others. But let's focus on the deadlifts for now. Chest up, shoulders back, hinging at the hip, letting it hang. I'm also squeezing that back glute as well. So in this case, my right leg, I'm engaging that glute to get the most out of my time in this exercise. One more for good measure. Nice. We're gonna be switching to step ups next. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use two dumbbells this time, just to get a little extra resistance. So if you have that, great. If not, again, just doing these body weight is totally fine. I'm gonna go lateral view this time, just to show you what's up. Marching step ups. Anyone notice that single leg RDL picking that up? I did. Okay, chest up, shoulders back. Balance for a second. Remember, both feet come down, switching legs. If you'd prefer to just work reps on one leg and then switch sides, that's totally fine too. I like the mental challenge of switching. Definitely feeling <laughs> the added resistance. And this muscular system dude keeps making eye contact with me. It's kind of weird, bro. I'm working out, leave me alone. Is anybody doing these in a gym? If so, I'd love to hear what that looks like for you. I don't have a gym membership. Well, I have a rock gym membership. Different though. I don't love gym environments anymore. Maybe I'll do a video on that. <laughs> it's a whole different conversation. Keep those glutes engaged. Make sure finishing that rep, shoulders back, full body exercise, no doubt. Couple more. One more on the left leg. Oh, nice work. Okay, final round, baby. That's where it's at. Almost done. Woo! Legs, feeling stable, strong, albeit tired. <laughs> Hopefully, that'll get better. Did set a lofty goal for myself this month, trying to trail run more miles in a month than I ever have in my life. Weighted single leg my record right now is 112. Kind of on pace to be right around there, so I'm gonna try to push it. I'd like to get 120. Chest up. Let it hang. October always seems like my big running month. Good weather for it. I'm eager to ski, but there's no skiing yet, so I just run. <laughs> Last set, best set. Really focus up here. Feel that engagement. Get that glute activated. 
Remember, we're not hinging and bending. If you, if you can do this in the mirror or have somebody film you, that's the best external feedback. A few more, come on. Get that glute engaged. Nice, nice. Last set of RDLs. Weighted single leg RDLs. I also just want to mention like we're doing single leg RDLs because there's so much balance involved. It's just an amazing exercise. Regular RDLs with a barbell with Weighted two legs. Leg it's a great exercise too. Different phases of training. Certainly utilize that exercise intending to stray away from the barbell this time of year. Really love the functionality of the dumbbells for just their easy modulation and strength endurance. I do have a barbell and it's off the frame. I do use it for different things. Maybe I'll do a barbell workout one of these days. <laughs> A few more on this leg. Really focus up. I've been doing this exercise a long time, which affords me the muscle memory to kind of talk while I do this, but focus. Number one. <sighs> nice work. Okay, final set of step ups, team. And then we're done. Look at that. It's been like 34 minutes, ups. 35 minutes. I think this is a 36 minute workout. Short, actually on the powder prep program. It's a little bit longer. <laughs> Marching 36 minutes ups. is certainly a great place, but especially the second time this workout pops up, I lengthen those sets a little bit. Switching legs. Focus. It's one of my favorite things. Dwayne The Rock Johnson be in the gym and he'll just scream, focus! I love it. So focus. You could certainly use a shorter box, a higher box, but where I'm at right now, holding an extra 40 or 50 pounds, 18 inches feels perfect today. Get it done team, we're almost there now. A few more good reps. Come on, focus, a few more. You're done. In three, two, one. Nice work. Good job, team. Great job. Hopefully that wasn't too, too difficult. Hopefully you're doing these workouts, you're getting a little stronger, but your legs should be feeling strong. <laughs> That's what the powder prep program is all about. Any ski training program, obviously we're focusing a lot strength endurance through the legs, core engagement, cardiovascular performance, all of those come into play, plus mobility and a well-rounded program. Super grateful for you all sticking around through the whole video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you wanna see. I'm all about meeting your needs and helping you where you're at. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, my name is Mikey Bell and we'll see you next time here at Outdoor Adventure Training.